Hello, and welcome to another episode of Path of Exile Tours and Tactics. Before we started going too much into dissecting the passive skill wheel, uh, I thought it might be prudent to just kind of do a, a basic overview of the user interface in Path of Exile. So we're going to start with a fresh new character. Just to show you the basics of that, you just, as always, you have six to choose from. Gives you a basic rundown of their capabilities. So once our delightful fellow wakes up here. Come on. Waking up now. Everything's pretty much driven by mouse clicks. I'll harm you. Click to pick up weapons. All right, now we can go to our escape menu here. As always, resume game options. Is it login screen? Our options screen. Graphics adapter, full screen, resolution, and typical graphics settings. As you can see, this is what each of them does. That determines your map's transparency. This one is good to have checked because it means anytime there's an item on the ground or something to interact with on the ground, let's see if we can find it. Find something. Here we go, zombies. Beat up some zombies. Such as that plate vest right there. Let me kill this last, this last baddie here. Otherwise, you would have to hold down the Alt key in order to see it. So we're going to keep that clicked, pick up that. This is an interesting one. If you have the white items on the ground there, you won't see it. For the early levels, probably keep it un unhighlighted. Later ones, probably better. Items can only be picked up, that's kind of useful. If you don't want to just randomly click stuff, you have a full inventory. Good for full. This gives you numbers over here on the top and bottom of each orb, which we'll get to in a moment. I keep global chat hidden because it annoys me. And of course you can zoom with the mouse wheel. Click save. You can rebind everything. Except your attack. Attack is always going to be based off of the mouse buttons. So, our main interface here. Put our fellow in the center here. Over here, you've got your global chat. You click it with a little dot down there. Close out of it with that. Oh, I got zombies. They woke up. Die. I'm going to pick that up. Back to zooming in. These are your different areas, which we'll get to in a second, your different menu options. These are your potions and various items. Between your potions, hitting those number keys. On the other side, this brings you up to you, the microtransactions that you've purchased. Here's my happy little Kiwi friend. You can go to the store, but it brings up the web browser. We're not going to do that right now. Your default attack button is there. You hold down shift, you attack the air. Middle mouse button is another attack. And you can divide your other attacks into the five QWERTY keys. Q-W-E-R-T. And then here, of course, is your mana orb on the other side. Now your other options. That's the options. We already went there. This is your inventory panel. You can also access it by hitting I. This shows your head slot, your two weapon slots, amulet, two ring slots, hands, belt, feet, and the various potions. And those of you who have played Diablo are familiar with the chest area. This is all the stuff you can carry. It's got a grid-based thing, so if you put something down there, it switches places with it. Now, gems are handled pretty much the same as you'd expect. You pick up the gem, drop it in the highlighted slot, and now I can use Glacial Hammer. You remove it by right-clicking, put it back in your inventory. Pretty simple. We're going to put the Driftwood Club over there. So we're dual wielding. And that is your inventory. Your map pretty much brings up your 
minimap, but on a larger scale. So if you're feeling particularly lost, you can see that M is the hotkey. M is not the hotkey. Tab is the hotkey. Bring that up and down. Character panel is C. This has all your various stats, information on your moves, the specific stats of those moves. For some reason, there's no image there. And we'll probably get more into these later. This is more for micromanaging, theory crafting, numbers, math, you know, my least favorite things. Social panel, S brings that up. These are your friends. You can create a party here. These are the public parties. You have people looking for other people to level with them. We'll try that at some point. We'll see what kind of random groups are available. And you close it. Hit S to close it. P brings up the wonderful passive skill tree with all its various dots. And then, of course, U brings up your quest panel. This has your map of the area, what areas you have left to go to, and your quest that you have. So, I'm going to move the map there, and that's pretty much it for the user interface. It's pretty standard for these types of games. So next time, we're going to start dissecting the wonderful skill tree, and after that, we'll start exploring the different areas. However, until then, my friends, Game on, and take care.